after a little milestone, we've officially staled into another state. We're now in the Northern Territory, so uh, we have come a long way. I don't think this boat's ever been out of Western Australia in its whole life. A whole, a whole, uh, its whole existence, but now it has been. Now it's, and it's coming to that, we're going to uh, the Kai Islands in Indonesia. So then this boat will have been abroad as well. How about that? We still got, lady. We still got to get the diamond too. It's been a bit of an effort. Another, we have an effort. Yeah, another 24 hours or so, and we'll be there. A cool. massive effort. Yeah. Tedious. Yeah, into the wind the whole One way. One of the worst sails we've ever had in our life. Tedious. Well, some parts of it were really good, but. <laughs> First part. Yeah. Today's not too bad. We're still not going in the right direction. Lots of motors on. Yeah, lots of motoring. Anyway. We'll see you in Darwin. We're on the way into Darwin anyway. close to Darwin, seriously we're like just over 200 nautical miles away, which leads us to start thinking. We need to reprovision when we get to Darwin and we're going to be reprovisioning for four months in Indonesia. Now there's a couple of things we have to consider. They don't eat pork, so if we absolutely love bacon, we need to at least buy enough to keep us going for the whole of those four months because we won't be able to purchase anything while we're there. We figure the only other things we need to really sort of make sure we have a lot of is the protein side of it, uh, so enough meat, chicken, uh, etc. Uh, cheeses and dairy is always handy to stock up on because they last for a while. And anything fresh, I'm guessing fresh produce, we'll be able to buy at the local market. So that's our goal. We're going to have a big clean out of all our cupboards to make sure that what we take is exactly what we need and so we don't run out of essentials. So essentials for me could be different to essentials for you. I mean, I can't live without sour cream and cheese and corn chips and salsa and anything Mexican. So I make sure I have a lot of that stuff on board. Uh, coffee pods, you know, packs of 30, easy. You know, I just want to make sure I have one coffee a day. I'm happy with that. Uh, I really, really, really love the powdered milk that you can buy so pretty happy with drinking powdered milk that is delicious and we haven't quite got the knack of making bread yet so we're considering actually purchasing a bread maker when we get to Darwin. So our big tip is processed meat, I know some people probably don't like it but it lasts forever so chorizo, um, Cabanossi, uh, the continental meat knobs seem to last a long time. The other things that last are halloumi and feta. So they're just two little things of joy that you can like buy a lot of and maybe buy it from different places so you get, if that's possible, so you get a different um, use by dates and then store them accordingly and then start with the one that um, expires soonest. But that's like, seriously, I must have bought six chili halloumis and I forgot I had them and I noticed them the other day. <laughs> we have been eating halloumi for lunch and I've been adding it to, you know, like strips on the steak for dinner and it's so yummy. It's more fattening than normal cheese, so you know, it's a sometimes food. <laughs> anyway, we're really looking forward to getting to Darwin. Uh, we're very excited, to be honest. It, I can't believe it. Um, you know, we've been sailing back since 
we left Exmouth for about six weeks now. So it's taken us that, that long to get to Darwin, uh, which is like quite a distance. But don't forget in that time, we've had some wonderful time with friends and we've been to some amazing anchorages and experienced some wonderful things that, you know, even though we had to rush through and get to Darwin as quickly as possible because of boat work and my MRI and blah, 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 um, we still really felt like we saw a lot of the Kimberleys and we cannot wait to go back. Darwin, but now we've just got to negotiate the locks to get into Tipperary Marina. It's been nerve wracking when we've got no motors that go in reverse. So we're hoping that you just go straight in and they pull up to the jetty and we're crossing our fingers that we don't do anything wrong or any damage. It's pretty cool to be in Darwin. What's the deal now? This fills up. Oh, what a run we had. We were so lucky we had a good run. The last. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's like going down the Panama Canal. So I've got me tinny here just in case I need to stop you. Oh good. It goes at about a thousand revs in reverse. So it does go in reverse. But that's it. Thousand and it starts clunking. <laughs> so you're actually on your tinny, that's cute. Oh, this is so crazy. And we've got our brakes on hand. Mine's is just helping a friend from the lock. I don't have any reverse. I think they're happy to be here. They've come up from Perth. Oh, what?
Probably. I've just had a shower and I have never felt so good in my life. Warm water that you just turn on, wash my hair. It's been a while. Well, not since I've washed my hair, but since I've had hot free flowing water. <laughs> For today's speech, I wanted to just reflect on what it means to be a Territorian because as a Larrakia traditional owner, it gives me a great pride to be a part of this community. When I came down here and I parked, I walked through the Mindle Beach Markets area and I saw the diversity in the people and in the food and that's what people want for Larrakia, they want community. We put you at the heart of everything we, we do. We want you to feel at home like we do. And sure, we have our differences, but I'd rather think about what our similarities are, what brings us together. And today, it's Territory Day. So celebrate Territorians and look out for each other and look after yourselves. Thank you. So for anyone who hasn't done it before, just come into the water. I say some words in Larrakia and I put my sweat into the water and then I invite you just to copy me. All you need to do is walk in the water, get some of your sweat from your armpits, put it in the water with mine. So I'll go first, talk to the old people. When you do the salt water ceremony for us and with us, you're acknowledging that Larrakia people are still here. And we're practicing our customary practices that are ancient. So when I put my sweat in the water, the old people, they know me. They know my smell. Their eyes open, they see me. So please now do as I have done. When you put your sweat into mine, they will see you. When they see you, they'll protect you on country. You'll feel relaxed. When you sleep, when you sleep, you sleep well, you function better in the daytime. Welcome to Larrakia country, everyone. Thank you. Stay by the water.
What a fun night that was. I'm now sitting in the tender waiting for the tide to come in. But I've got no shortage of entertainment to look at. There's fireworks going off everywhere. Like everywhere you look, it is crazy. So it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, well, so we're 73 nautical miles in for our Indonesia sail. Still 319 nautical miles left to go. Oh yeah, I'm sick, but oh, I'm sick. feeling sick. Stupid. Camera falling over. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Micho's sick, 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 and I'm getting better sick. So just had the border force ring us, um, radio us through, which is good. It was actually a good thing because that gives us an idea that our radio does actually work. Yeah. Well, it probably has a lot more. To do. Yeah, amazing radio, but amazing. yeah, you're right. Where are they even calling from? Like pigs in space. Anyway, we've had a lovely day sailing. We had a really fast start for ages, and then the last couple of hours has been like beating into the current and going really slow. But we can't believe we're actually on our way to Indo, so we can live with it. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we had some autopilot issues right at the beginning, which wasn't great because we had to hand steer. But probably had something to do with my fancy packing technique because I've put way too many cans right next to the compass. So it's just disrupted and confused it all. It's all been moved, everything's fine, and now we are actually on course. Everything's good with the autopilot. Uh, we've got AIS up and running, but we don't have the Wi Fi adapter so we can see it on our devices. And we have a bit of issue with our VHF antenna, so we just need to have another quick look at that and see if there's something we can do to fix it. We're a bit concerned about all the reports that we're getting on the um, WhatsApp group in regards to the rally people who have arrived are close enough to Indonesia and are really battling with a whole heap of nets and buoys and things like that floating in the water. So it's really handy being part of a rally and actually getting that intel. So we will uh, hopefully arrive in sunlight so at least we can see what we're doing. And um, yeah, it's just a whole new experience for us. 